Okay, you guys. We're just finishing up these um, finishing up these books. I mean, look how gorgeous this is. This is a blanket. It's either knitted or crocheted. I'm not sure, but look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, like I said, the pattern is um, inside. Oh, look at this. This is a whole suit. I mean, people used to do this. They would knit an entire suit. And I want to know, is it worsted weight or what do they use? Because when I've been reading this stuff, a lot of times this was sport, sport weight. And I thought, I thought maybe it would be because it's a suit. So you kind of need to be finer. But check out this suit. This is all knit. I think it's knitted. Let me make sure. Um... Yeah, size five needles. So yeah, this is all knitted. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, this is incredible that they would do something like that. Fabulous. How fabulous is that? I would love to have a suit like that. It's very Jackie-o. Like how pretty would that be in all black? Everything. Okay. So sharp. I need to check that out. I love that. Um, okay, so that's it with that one. Um, right on the front, that's a, um, I don't really like the color weight, but I do like that cardigan. Very cool. Like I said, the pattern's inside. Let me see what else. Oh, look how cute. This little red sweater and a hat. It's a decorative, it says a decorative turtleneck and cap. I love it. And I wonder if they work it out. I haven't read through them, but they work it out for different sizes. I don't know. Probably. Okay. Let's see if I see anything else in this book. And they have like recipes in this book and everything. But I'm just looking for the knitting stuff. This is really cool. This is a pretty little sweater. It's a crochet cardigan. It says in large sizes. So even if you were like a medium, you can make yourself like an oversized crochet sweater, which I think is a really pretty sweater right there. Okay, and that's it with that. So anyway, I think these are really, really cool. Um, I definitely will be throwing these some of these in giveaways, which I think could be really fun. It's just a little nostalgia thing, and they could be projects that you can actually make. So pretty cool. So excited about that. Um, there's something I just want, like a little life thing I wanted to share with you guys. Most people share their life at the beginning, their life, the leather, whatever, <laughs> at the beginning. Well, I think I did. I kind of talked to you guys about why I'm knitting, why I use bulky yarn. Um, so I think from now on, I'll always have like a little mental health update of like how knitting is just really helping me and nurturing me and healing me. And um, every week I'll kind of have something about that. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about a concert we went to last week. So we went to this concert. Um, we went to a concert, Human Nature Jukebox. You guys, they are at the Venetian. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that's Venetian. Yeah, it's at the Venetian. You guys, these guys are awesome. They're from Australia. They used to be a boy, boy band in the 90s, I guess. And now um, Smokey Robinson, they went to Los Angeles, and Smokey Robinson heard them, and they did one of Smokey's songs. You know Smokey Robinson can sing, okay? He can sing. And these guys sing as good or better than Smokey Robinson. I know you guys are like, what are you talking about? These guys are so full beyond belief. They're from Australia and they're so cute because they talk with a little Australian accents and then they get it like Motown and all their music is like Motown music. It's fabulous. If you guys come to Vegas, you have to see Human Nature. The jukebox is at the Venetian. You guys have to see them. Look how sharp, look how sharp they look. This is their, um, this is their program. I love these guys. This is my third time seeing them. We saw them last year. They have a PBS special coming out in November and one coming out in June. And I'm actually might be in it. Okay, let me explain. We went last week to see them. We brought a friend and uh, we went last year also. So anyway, so then, um, Somehow my husband found out they're doing this taping for Channel 8. 
And so I think they sent my husband something. And so my husband called and said, you know, how do we sign up for this uh, taping? And because you guys need people for the taping because they want to have like a live audience and everything that they interact with. And they're going to show it on Channel 8. And they said, we'll just show up tomorrow. Your name's on the list. We're like, okay. So we showed up. This was a couple days ago. It, and we were there from 6 to like 9.30 or 10. Oh, my God. We were there forever. But it was so fun. They sang. And it was cool because you got to see everything. Like they would sing, do a couple routines, and then they cut. And then they set up the next stage. And you get to see them like kind of like down and then see them back on. It was freaking awesome. They sing like angels. Um, they totally were taping the audience. We're all dancing. It was so fun. And they asked for volunteers to go on stage. So I went on stage. I was so excited. They set me in the middle on top. And everyone got to sit on this um, these steps. And I set, they set me in the middle. I was like, oh, my God, this is so exciting. And the guys weren't on stage at this time. These, these other directors were setting us all up on these, like, steps. And all of a sudden, human nature shows up. One on this side of me and one on this side of me. So I was like this. Because I'm just facing forward, waiting for the show to start, you know. And I'm thinking they're going to come on stage up to us or whatever, maybe. No, they came from behind. So I'm like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then one of them was singing to this one girl. And this other guy was singing to me. I was like, oh, my God. This is crazy. And, um, and they sing like angels. You guys, their voices are like unreal. You have to see human nature. Okay, but watch it in June. Hopefully I'm on there. I'm so excited. And you have to see that. And you guys will know what I'm talking about. So when, you, when everybody comes to Vegas, okay? So when you come to Vegas, let me know you're here so we can visit. Number two, um, go see human nature at the Venetian. Unbelievable. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is, now, you guys can go ahead and turn off and end here if you don't want to listen to any of this. Um, I'm trying to end my videos talking about herbs. Um, I'm an herbalist. Um, I'm actually a certified herbalist. Um, I've been doing herbs for like eight years now. Yeah, eight years. I take, so if you don't want to hear about this, go ahead and exit off and I will see you guys next week. Okay, and thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you want to stay around and listen to about some just quick herb knowledge, it's going to be about five minutes. Um, I'll let you guys know what I'm going to be talking about. But I am an herbalist. I've been doing, I've been, um, I'm a certified herbalist. I've been practicing herbs for the last eight years. I take zero medications, you guys. Um, I create all types of herbal um, uh, tinctures. Um, I encapsulate herbs um, for every issue in my family, any issues I've had. Um, and I'm talking about any disease you get, there's an herb for it. And um, I guess I don't have to convince you because if you're still listening, you kind of believe in this stuff. I don't really believe in synthetic medication. I believe in herbs. You know, nature will take care of us. And so anyway, what I want to talk to you about is these infusions. Last week, I, I think I, I can't remember the infusion I gave you guys last week. But if you missed that show, go to the show before this and um, I'll talk about that infusion in the last show. So today, the infusion that I'm making, I made, and the one I'm talking about is um, hawthorn. So, and I want to show you the herb, but I made it, and I don't have any more hawthorn left. But at any rate, what you do, this is an infusion, and I'll tell you what the benefits are for drinking this infusion. I drink an infusion, a different infusion every day. I have six different infusions. I drink one, a different one every day. So this is hawthorn, okay? So to create this, you take one ounce of herb, and you get the herbs from www.mountainroseherbs.com. That information will be below. If not, if I forget, it's www.mountainrose.com. And that's where you can get these herbs. It's not even expensive. We're talking 3 or $4 an ounce. These things aren't expensive. Okay. So anyway, I take an ounce of this herb here. And if you're just starting with this kind of stuff, you can go ahead and do a half ounce, you guys, because... Or make a full ounce and only drink half of this jar because it can be a little intense on people because you know herbs are cleansing and they're also nurturing and they also nurture you with all the minerals and vitamins so you can also take this and just do a half ounce but if you can take an herb for a while do a full ounce so you put a full ounce of or a half ounce of hawthorn h-a-w-t-h-o-r-n okay then you're going to sprinkle in and then you fill it okay so you, you put in your half or a full ounce of hawthorn then there's a the stuff called um, hibiscus flower. If you have any hibiscus that haven't been sprayed with pesticides, you can dry these and make them yourself from your backyard. 
So these are what hibiscus flowers look like. They are delicious, you guys. And what it does is there's major benefit in hibiscus, but it also has a great flavor, so it makes your um, it makes your infusion taste like raspberries. And you can just make just hibiscus tea if you want to. Total benefits from this. If you're getting sick, to prevent yourself from getting sick, it has, it's a great antioxidant. It'd be great to use these, but there's a ton of benefits from hibiscus. This is just my little jar when I keep it in. Okay, so after you do that, you, oh, and when you take this, you just sprinkle in a little bit because it's very strong, so you don't need a whole lot of this for the flavoring. So just sprinkle that in. You're not even using a half ounce. You're just taking like, I don't know, seven or eight little petals, maybe five, and just sprinkling it on top. Then you fill this with boiling hot water to the top, put your lid on, and, um, and then let that sit for about three hours, and I drink one every day. It has all your vitamins and minerals, protein and carbs. I'm serious, you guys. You can sustain life off of these, off of these infusions. They are incredible. Now, the herbal benefit from Hawthorne is huge, you guys. I drink this. Sometimes I drink Hawthorne twice a week, especially if I'm stressed. Because I've been going through a lot with family. And, you know, nobody can stress you out worse than family, right? <laughs> Thank you. So, um... Sometimes I drink it twice. I drink it twice a week, and let me tell you why. Hawthorne is super good for the heart. The biggest thing of reason people get heart attacks. Okay, one is they always say high cholesterol, which means that your arteries and your blood vessels are filling up with synthetic oils. Um, I don't eat any synthetic oils. I don't buy vegetable oil. I don't buy canola. All that's crap. Okay, only real oils that there are are olive oil, coconut oil. Even lard that comes from um, meat fat, that's a, real, that's a real oil. Your body knows what to do with real fat. What they don't know what to do with is these synthetic oils. Um, like that vegetable shortening, it's fake oil. Um, canola oil, fake oil. Vegetable oil, fake oil. So I don't eat any of those oils. So I know now, and, uh, you, know, and you know, sometimes you'll eat potato chips and they'll have all those synthetic oils. You know, just limit it. You know, you, I have like a jump day, and my jump day is on Saturday. So I allow myself to have that kind of stuff. But most of the time during the week, I'm not eating that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, so that's what clogs up the arteries, um, what they call high cholesterol, clogs up your arteries and your blood vessels, and now you don't have blood flowing and oxygen flowing to the heart, and you have a heart attack. But the other thing they don't talk about, and I learned this from a lady named Susan Weed. Susan Weed, I think it's spelled S-U-S-U-N-W-E-E-D. I'll try to make sure I put her link below. She is awesome. She's an herbist. I call her the... Um, she, to me, is just the wisest woman about herbs, truly. She's like the godmother of herbs, in my opinion. And she's the one who taught, taught me. I, I knew about these herbs, but I didn't know about making these really nice, strong infusions out of them and drinking them every day. So she's the one who taught me about this. Um, what was I saying about the Hawthorne? Oh, but the other thing is it's not just the cholesterol, high cholesterol or these bad oils that, um, that fill up your arteries and your... Um, and your uh, your arteries um, and your blood vessels it's also um, inflammation okay have you ever heard someone say that someone died of a broken heart or they're under a lot of stress so they had a heart attack well what happens when your body feels stressed it fills up with inflammation and the inflammation can be filled up in your arteries and your blood vessels and when when inflammation gets in there it's the same as high cholesterol or all these bad fats okay and when you get when, and when your arteries and your blood vessels are filling up with um, even with inflammation because you've been stressed um, that doesn't let blood and oxygen flow to the heart and if you don't have blood flow to the heart and oxygen you're gonna have a heart attack so even if you're eating well and you're doing all like I do a lot of good oils I'm not eating the bad oils and all of that I could still have a heart attack because of stress okay and so I drink two of these a week. So just to always keep my blood vessels cleansed of inflammation. And anything, if I eat during the week, I eat some bad oils or whatever, some bad oils or something I eat, my blood vessels and my arteries are always being flushed out of these, um, of these uh, of inflammation or bad oils. Let me read really quickly. Okay, I told you guys last week about the, herb, the Little Herb Encyclopedia. Go get this, I believe they have it on Amazon. Okay, the Little Herb Encyclopedia. If not, you could just look that up and order it. It's the Bible of herbs. It is awesome. 
if you have any issues that are going on in your body, you can look up the issue in the back of the book and then find out what herbs will take care of it. Or if you have herbs and you want to know what they're good for, you can look them up alphabetically in the book. Like I'm going to look up Hawthorne. It's all in alphabetical order. Okay, so Hawthorne. Okay, so this is how it works. It tells you a little story all about Hawthorne and different herbal benefits. And then they list the herbal benefits of Hawthorne. So I'm just going to read off really quickly the herbal benefits. Edema, adrenal weakness. That is super important, adrenal weakness, because what happens is if you're always feeling tired and um, you're feeling weak and you just never feel like you have any energy, a lot of times your adrenals are drained and that comes from that flight or fight, fight or flight thing where um, you're, you're just under a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stress. So you're under a lot of stress. So you're constantly, your adrenals are constantly getting drained. Okay. Um, and that happens a lot when you're under a lot of stress. So something like this can balance your adrenals. Signs of adrenal weakness is like when you start losing your eyebrows halfway, that's adrenals. When you have a lot of lines, like excessive lines all of a sudden underneath your eyes, that's adrenals. So things like that can show you and just feeling really tired. Um, let's see what else. Arthritis, blood clots, blood pressure high or low. So again, if you have high blood pressure, that's because you're... You're not getting enough blood through your arteries. Um, cardiac symptoms, uh, edema, dropsies, enlarged heart, hardening of the arteries, heartbeat irregular, heart disease, heart filibration, heart palpitations, heart valves, heart weakness, hypertrophy, hypertension, hypoglycemic, liver, menopause, nephritis, root ruthitism, arthritis, sleeplessness, sore throat, stomach, stress, and vibrancy. So you can see how important to drink this once or twice a week would be. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's my um, infusion of the day that I'm drinking, which is the Hawthorne. I told you guys where you can go and get that. And I think that's it, you guys. Yeah, my camera's about to go off. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. You can give my video a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Hit the bell, you guys, so you know when my videos come up. I, I always forget to tell you guys about that stupid bell. I didn't get to share my rings with you guys, but I will share them with you guys in the next video. All right, that is it. And I'll talk to you guys in about a week or two. It depends on what I have done. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.